Hey guys, Spirit of the Law here. In this video, we're gonna look at whether the Kumans bonus allowing them to build a town center in Feudal Age gives them a permanent economic advantage over the regular fast castle into three town centers. Is it worth rushing to Feudal Age in order to build it and then go up to Castle Age later? Or are they better off in the long run with a more typical fast castle and boom? It's actually a bit of a tricky problem to model since the comparison involves several variables working against each other. Of course, even after modeling all of these factors, it's still only a rough estimate, but can it be done? Of course it can. To start with, there's a couple of things to know right away. First is that town centers normally take two and a half minutes for a single villager to build, whereas the Cumans feudal town center takes four and a half. For that reason, I've noticed players online using more villagers than usual to make it, which actually makes sense. It's often used to secure extra resources around or just before rushes are expected to come in, and you also want to start building your villager advantage. In order to reflect that, I'm going to assume that we use 8 villagers to build it. Another assumption is that Dark Age villagers collect roughly 20 resources per minute, which is in line with what I found before. I'm also subtracting the cost of villagers as they're made, which is 50 for the food, and 7 for the cost of a house split 5 ways. Hitting Feudal Age has the additional advantage of picking up Double Bit Axe, which increases your Lumberjack collection rate by 20%. To account for that, after clicking up to Castle Age, I'll assume the villagers start collecting 21.5 resources per minute. It's not a huge difference, but that's generally when you pick it up in a fast castle, and it's easy to factor in. Of course, once you hit Castle Age, you have to pay for two town centers, and I'll assume four villagers to build each. If we put that all together with a 26 plus 2 fast castle, and look at the total resources collected, we get this graph. You can see at first you start with 700 resources and actually lose net worth as you queue up villagers, but gradually they pay for themselves and your economy grows. A bit later you pay for Feudal Age, build up resources as you advance, then pay for Castle Age and Double Bit Axe, and finally pay for two town centers when you hit Castle Age. 75 seconds later after they're built, you're really off to the races, making three villagers at a time. The steepness on the far right side will change a bit depending on when you get wheelbarrow and other economic upgrades, so there's a bit of variation that starts to be introduced on the tail end. Up to 18 minutes though at least, this should reasonably model ideal play. Now let's see how a Kumin fast feudal into a second town center would look in comparison. First of all, the feudal age advance is much faster, ideally around 20 population or 21 in dark age. I'll go with 20, which I've seen pretty consistently and is certainly possible to pull off. Keep in mind the quicker advance means a faster double bit axe, so villagers are collecting 21.5 instead of 20 resources per minute a bit earlier. But also keep in mind the longer time to build the second town center and the 8 villagers it takes to do so. Taking all of those things into account, we get this graph. You can see it's an identical feudal age at first, though going up a bit earlier, and the cost of building a second town center. It takes a while to build and we have 8 villagers not collecting during that time period, but after that we're making 2 villagers every 25 seconds instead of 1. To make things more comparable, I've had the player going up to Castle Age at 1710 and reach at 1940, after which they build a third town center. The actual time you pick for that advance has little to no impact on your collection over the medium term. Once in Castle Age, whenever you get there, you can make the third town center and continue on. Overlapping those two graphs, this is what we have, with Cummins in orange and the regular Fast Castle in blue. Of course, Cummins will be advancing earlier and have the initial investment into the feudal town center. You'll be a lot tighter on resources, but if you can make it work, after 15 minutes there's a more or less permanent economic advantage. The gap does start to narrow a bit as the Cumin player is going up to Castle Age, but even after investing in a third town center, there's still a 1500 to 2000 resource advantage according to this particular model. The result is a bit expected given the convention is for players to add the second town center as quickly as possible, but personally I like to see how the two builds compare over time instead of just at the end. Looking at the villager populations throughout shows you why it's such a powerful strategy. At 16 and a half minutes for example, the Kumin player should ideally have 49 villagers, while the generic 3 town center boomer has 30. On paper, that looks like an impossible advantage to overcome, though of course three town centers start to catch up to the Cummins too, especially since one town center is idled while advancing the castle age. Interestingly, the final count should be within a couple of villagers of each other if you use the advance times I laid out, and an especially late castle age advance for the Cummin player could even put them behind. Obviously, you still want to get to castle age in a reasonable time frame to have a third or even fourth town center, as well as access to knights, castles, and kipchaks. For me, this really helps put the Cummins nerf of a longer to build town center into perspective, since if it was built in the regular time, it would lead to roughly an extra 500 resource advantage. Hopefully that also frames how important it is to go up as quickly as possible, as long as you're able to still make the town center right away. Of course, all of this is on top of the advantage it gives to securing additional resources, and Cummins even have greater HP on their palisade walls to help make this work. 
It was certainly an interesting little spreadsheet problem and seems to confirm conventional wisdom. But that's all for this one. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.